Steven here, mom to Egan, Declan, and Ryan. And for fun story time today, I have a book called Dog Breath, The Horrible Trouble with Halitosis by Dave Pilkey. It's one of his lesser known books. And halitosis is also another word for bad breath. So you can see where this really silly Dave Pilkey story is going. There was once a dog named Hallie who lived with the Tosis family. Hallie was a very good dog, but she had a big problem. Hallie Tosis had horrible breath. Whenever Hallie Tosis opened her mouth, horrible things happened. You see Mona Lisa's plugging her nose, the fish is upside down. I love it. The wallpaper is curling off the walls. When the children took Halitosis for a walk, everyone else walked. On the other side of the street, even skunks avoided Halitosis. But the real trouble started one day when Grandma Tosis stopped by for a cup of tea and Halle jumped up to say hello. You want to join me? Mr. and Mrs. Tosis were not amused. Something has to be done about this smelly dog. They said. The next day, Mr. and Mrs. Tosis decided to find a new home for Hallie. The children knew the only way they could save their dog was to get rid of her bad breath. So they took Hallie Tosis to the top of a mountain that had a breathtaking view. They hoped the breathtaking view would take Hallie's breath away, but it didn't. I love the sunshine plugging the nose. That's so funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next, the children took Hallie Tosis to a very exciting movie. They hoped all the excitement would leave Hallie breathless. The children took Hallie Tosis to a carnival. They hoped Hallie would lose her breath on the speedy roller coaster. I see a pattern here. Think it's gonna work again? Yeah. Nope. Nope. Huh? <laughs> I love his illustrations. He's so funny. But that idea stunk too. The plans to change Hallie's bad breath had failed. Now only a miracle could save Halitosis. Sadly, the three friends said goodnight, unaware that a miracle was just on the horizon. Look at the window and see if you can predict what's going to happen. Also, when they were going up to the mountain, I saw two wanted burglars and I see two people with um, a flashlight seeing a, walking out there. Oh dead. yeah, there's a wanted, wanted sign. Egan's making a prediction. I think they might be. Later that night, when everyone was sound asleep, two sneaky burglars crept into the Tosis house. The two burglars were tiptoeing through the dark, quiet rooms when suddenly they came upon Hallie Tosis. Yikes! whispered one burglar. It's a big, mean, scary dog. Don't be silly, whispered the other burglar. That's only a cute, fuzzy puppy. <laughs> Two burglars giggled at the sight of such a friendly little dog. That couldn't hurt a fly, whispered one burglar. Come here, poochie poochie, said the other. So Hallie Tosis came over and gave the burglars a nice big kiss. Slurp! The next morning, the Tosis family awoke to find two burglars passed out cold on their living room floor. It was a miracle. a miracle. A miracle. The Tosis family got a big reward for turning in the crooks and soon Hallie Tosis was the most famous crime fighting dog in the country. In the end, Mr. and Mrs. Tosis changed their minds about finding a new home for Hallie. They decided to keep all their wonderful watchdog after all. This home is protected by dog breath. <laughs> 
Now everyone wants a dog giving you. Because life without halitosis just wouldn't make any sense. sense. And they spelled it sense like smell. It wouldn't make any sense. We hope you enjoyed the silly story Dog Breath, The Horrible Trouble with Halitosis by Dave Pilkey. We wish you happy March's Reading Month, everyone. Bye. Bye.